but he's going to be okay. Marcus Ambrose led the first lap in his Cup Series career last week at Pocono when he was uh, thought he was going to have a top 10 finish. Got shuffled out there into contact with David Rudiman and Denny Hamlin. And now leading again three wide, headed toward the inner loop. And folks, that won't work even two wide. No, there goes Strammy through the grass. He's going around in front of these guys. Oh, man. Jeff Gordon gets a piece of it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Harvey. Harvey. Got Carl Edwards, Edwards right there into the side of Jeff Gordon. Strammy trying to get it fired, and we will have a... Right side, right side damage, rear damage on the screen here, Roy. Yeah, a lot of debris down there. They're going to have to clean it up. Guys, right, get ready to cut the bumper, cut the bumper cover off, and right front damage, the splitter is, the splitter's broke. Yeah, Harvey got the work of that. Well, what a year it's been for Richard Childress Racing and Kevin Harvick outside the top. What the hell were those guys doing? No, I... Yeah, sometimes you want to as a driver. Just watch. Everything ready, guys. We're going to need some sheet metal for the right, for the left front fender. See okay. what happens. You see, Strimmy gets off into the grass. That's never very good. Just loses total traction as he tries to come back onto the pavement, spins around in front of these guys. Casey Mir just snuck by. Gordon couldn't quite get by, and then Harvick into uh, the right front of David Strimmy. Now watch Jeff Gordon's viewpoint here. Watch uh, Mears get by. Right here, you think Jeff Gordon's missed this, barely gets a little bit of contact, thinks he's okay, and then he gets hit by the 29. Right behind the right front wheel. Well, Carl Edwards did a nice job to keep the nose of his car out of that to catch fence. Yeah, I thought he had gathered a part of this. Slow but down, slow down, slow down, slow right down, keep left. Come, the, come on, come on, come on. Just clear right. Stay in the middle here. Stay in the middle here. See, Streamy was trying to make a pass there on Brian Vickers. He just got, just miscalculated and got into the inner loop a little too fast and shot him through the grass. The two most heavily damaged cars, a 12 of Streamy and uh, the, the 29 of Harvick. Jeff Gordon got substantial damage there, too. Oh, we got a little, little more yeah. retaliation from an earlier accident. Yeah, that uh, came from when they were in turn 11 and Streamy got into the right rear quarter panel and spun uh, the part the out. Remy now trying to get some serious repairs made on pit road. What a good weekend has been for him thus far. The great qualifying effort for this 12 car. Best of the year, fifth. And uh, there is the damage on the right front. Yeah, the looks, car looks pretty good from here. When we get a shot from that other side, you're going to see a whole lot of damage there on that right front all the way down the side of the car. And all those spots we were talking about that he made up there with good pit work and the double file restarts could be taken away. Change right side. If do. they all pit, I want to change right sides only. If no one pits, I want to change four. I want you on pit road when it's open. The right rear is off. I think they're going to be okay. They can get a little repair job done on this car. I think the car will be okay. It's just all those spots he's going to have to give up. And, then, and how about the 47 strategy now? What are they thinking? Now, they actually stayed out there longer than I thought they were going to. Yeah, they can go farther still. They can still go a few more laps, and I don't know if they'll pit under this caution or not. If they do, it's just going to be devastating. They're going to go back to uh, 35th or 6th. That's the problem with this strategy. I mean, it, you know, if, if Ambrose pits now, he's going to give up a ton of spots. 